You already tested it? What's going on? Wait, what's different? Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, what's changed? <laughs> what changed? Yeah, but why would they do this? Why would they? Have you not heard all the stuff that's going on with Twitch lately? I don't care about Twitch at all, so no. Oh. So, Twitch has been uh, muting... Oh, well, they're doing music matching to mute things? Yeah. You can just turn off music and play open source music 2.0. Yeah. And we're back. We back. We're back. We're talking about Twitch drama. Okay. We love Twitch. Apparently there's Twitch drama. Cool. Moffat doesn't know. Moffat's not up on the scene. I don't have time for watching streams. What is this, 99? <laughs> Dude, speaking of time for watching streams, where'd Tizer go? I didn't get to throw out a Tizer at all. Thank you, Michael. Here we go. Oh, all, all items right. on is important. We starting with Project M. Shout outs to the wonderful. Oh, mod good. They're taking, they're taking Lilat out of here. That that uh, Star Fox stage brawl is yeah. not good. I actually don't know what the what the legal stages are for for. Oh. For P. I don't think did, Cam. Did we ever establish like an official stage list for uh, Chateau? Cam, did we ever establish an official stage list for Chateau for PM? Cause, yeah. So they're just gonna play on FD yeah. or Smashville. I mean, come on. The the official stage list for Project M is kind of in flux. Follow hype. Follow hype. Who do we got? I, I don't know. It doesn't tell us yet. Someone followed. How about that? Nick from space. Nick, Thank from, you, Nick space. from space. We appreciate the follows. Space. Trying to get uh, the velvet room off the ground. We're floating velvet room. I called it. They're playing on Smashville. <laughs> Who's surprised? No one! Three, two, God one! God loves Smashville. Go! Alright, let's go. Alright. Apparently our uh, primary technician is very impressed with the 480p appearance of Project Cam is creaming in his pants right now. That's exactly what's happening. Can't say that on TV. <laughs> But dude, Cam, Link versus stupid Cam pours Link. heavy cream in his pants when he gets excited. Don't Old judge. Old school, right? Got the Persona 4 arena music. Right. So we got Echo playing his uh, playing his Tune Link. I gotta say, as someone who plays uh, who plays Ness in both Melee and uh, Project M, switching back and forth between similar characters is a huge pain. Uh, the differences can really throw you off. Oh, there's Tizer. Tizer's here. Link's boomerang game very strong in this game. His arrows are very different. Uh, after playing, you know, a little bit of melee, playing against Link in this game is just so weird. His arrows travel really fast. Yeah. Link's another character like we talked about with the Mario Brothers earlier. He, uh, uh -huh. he's, he's very had a lot much of fusion between the different versions. Yeah, he's very much a uh, fusion between like the good things about Young Link and the good things about Link in uh, Melee. Hope with the changes he made, he'll be more viable in Smash 4. Yeah, the uh, the changes that they're talking about for Smash 4 with Link are actually pretty interesting. The only uh, the only big one I've heard is that they've switched the sweet spot on his dare. Uh, from the hilt of the sword to the tip. So now uh, okay. when... I'm actually okay with that. If you're basically inside of it, it doesn't just happen. Yeah. So now when uh, you hit with the tip of Adult Link sword, uh, you'll get the spike. Okay. Which should be pretty cool. I think I like that. That would be so strong. Echo using Young Link's mobility to his advantage with these uh, just kind of full hops, jumping around the projectiles. Oh, 
Oh, going for the spike there. Alright. I gotta say, I absolutely love the bomb animation for Toon Link. Yeah. Everything about Wind Waker graphics just makes me happy. I don't know, it's in Link's eyes. They're a little shifty to me. Oh, I love his eyes. He's, so he's up to something. They're so expressive. A whole lot of punish these grabs. I mean, like they both mutually understand their grabs are so punished. <laughs> they're like it's, it's, it's impolite, you know, to punish. <laughs> impolite to punish, punish the whiff grab. Yeah, grab is a very risky move for both these characters. Ooh. Very nice edge very guard. Nice. I think I think we're good. Questioning that bomb throw that actually could have ended up saving Toon Link. Yeah, but would have been funnier since okay. This announcer voice is so goofy. Yeah, Stealth Evolved, the, uh, the, the buff on his uh, shield for blocking projectiles is also pretty cool, too. I'd like to see how, how that's been implemented. Yeah, obviously, I'm, I'm a big, big Zelda fan, so I, I love Link actually being a good character in a game. Didn't have you, you, you not been into Link's 64 performance then. <laughs> Has, hasn't had a whole lot of luck. I don't think he's very good in... I know he's not very good in Melee or 64. I know some people who really swear by him mm. in Melee, so... It really? Is it, is it him or Samus who's considered, like, the worst character in uh, that game? I don't know. I've seen some decent Samus, but it, uh, maybe that was PM. I don't know. Alright. Uh, Echo definitely looking more like he's controlling this match. Definitely using Toon Link's speed to his advantage. Oh, um, this is the Tether. Tethers are kind of a strange beast in this game. Uh, yeah. Because of the way they, they auto-shoot for the ledge. Uh, some people think... Some people don't like them as much because of that. Uh, most think that they've become too powerful because of that. In fact, the, uh, the Project M Backroom just released a blog post, I, I think, last week. Typically, we're going to tone them down a bit. Yeah, addressing Tethers uh, and toning them down. They've, they've only addressed Lucas in particular, but uh, Tethers in general are going to be getting a nerf uh, in the next iteration of Project M, along with recoveries in general. Yeah, the IRC, we're getting some action about talking about Link getting worse in every iteration. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 64, he was a bit of a turd, so... Yeah, he kind of uh, he kind of has a, a bit of an arc. 64, very bad. Uh, melee, you know, he's kind of mid-tier. He's oh. got... You know what? That's not totally true. 64 in the Japanese version is a lot better. The US version is kind of like a version 2. Uh, yeah. Match, if you will, because there were a lot of changes. Link saw the most changes. Mario is also a different height, so jump height's also adjusted, so, you know, there are some substantial changes there. Certainly. So that's interesting. But yeah, and then Brawl, he kind of drops back towards the bottom of the tier list again. Very nice follow-up with that grab. See, this is what I was saying earlier about Echo following up out of his hits so well. Yeah. His combos with Young Link and He's really Link are this match. so pretty. <laughs> it's all up B together. Oh, charges the up B. It's, gets that uh, grandma soup going. Smack, take one more stock before he's out. He might take it back. Yeah, definitely. I mean, with a character like Link, you can never count him out. Uh, this is a pretty rough deficit to try and come back from. Do you, think the yep. do you think the platforms help a young Link here? Because it seems like this match just went so different for him. You know, I think... I, I honestly don't know a whole lot about the matchup, but I would say they would actually be in more of Link's favor because of his strong projectile game. That's true. Uh, young, not that Young Link's projectiles are bad, but they're not. They're not. They're, they're not, not Link's. Links. That said, you don't have the uh, the middle platform, which really hinders kind of your ability to jump around and camp. Uh, you do have to kind of come down eventually. 
I would say the reason that, that Echo went that stage is because of the small mm. side blast zones. I think Toon Link has a problem in this game, as Young Link did in Melee, uh, of getting those kills. So the small blast zones can really help. Ooh, that's a good punch. Toon Link definitely doesn't want to be up on these platforms. Being above uh, Link is a, is a very scary place to be. Alright. Seems like Echo is really committed to taking more charge this time. Again, yeah. platforms. Maybe he's just good at using platforms. Yeah, and we could just see, you know, he played a lot of Young Link in Melee, so maybe he needed the warm up, get used yeah. to this version of the Definitely. character. It's like a transition you kind of need to go through to play this game after sure. Melee. I think this game also really hurts your Melee game, so it's important to play one before the other. Sure. Very nice use of the, uh, wow. the aerial glide toss there. Uh, Young Link and Link have a special property where they can actually throw the bomb during an air dodge. Uh, and gain a little directional momentum, uh, which really helps Young Link's admittedly poor recovery in this game. Good use that up B there to tack on a little more damage. Fixing the stream a little bit, centering some stuff. Yeah, it looks looks good. Cool. No worries. Shout outs to Cam Tendo, he's behind the scenes. He is the man behind the curtain. Yeah, he is the curtain. Yeah, he is the man behind the curtain, he's the curtain, he's the big scary screen, he's the smoke effects. Very nice. Very nice occupation with that uh We're seeing a much more dominant Toon Link here. Yeah, he's starting. He's, really gotten he's, I mean, he's literally level. starting to run circles around Link, just really taking advantage of that speed to control the stage. Very good. Oh, these beautiful. This, these follow-ups are just like very on point. And gets the stage spike with the dare. Very good showing from Echo. Yeah. Very good performance from Echo. Well, I'm on stream. Right. Later, Moffat. Good luck. Trying to get another commentator in. Be my pal, be my bud. Yo, Tizer! JVM, no? All right, we got Echo. Right on, right on. What's up, guys? Oh, dude. Follow hype. Hey, you're gonna have to play a game. Nurse Joy zero one. Thanks for the follow. We always appreciate it. Everyone, check out JBM's guns. That's uh. Yeah, I gotta say I love watching your team Link. Thanks. I love watching your Young Link. It's all just so man fantastic. Uh, my my Young Link's been. Uh, kind of off today. Yeah. yeah. That's why, like, in Melee, I was... I did notice last time I saw you at Chateau, you were looking a little cleaner, but still just... It's, you know, to be honest, I think it's because just the more I switch to PN and then I go back to sure. Melee, I feel like I get worse in Melee, you know? So, yeah, definitely. Uh, just the differences in uh, two link to Melee, or Young Link, rather. I had uh, the same problem. I played Ness in both games, oh. so switching back and forth... Yeah, but Ness is bad in both. Well, actually, you well, know, Ness feels a little better in Project Yeah, Ness. he's actually... I mean, tier list is so like fluid for PM, but he's considered a very you know viable character. In PM. I mean, they just need to give him a better recovery, and he'd be yeah. good to go. But yeah, he's trash in melee. Yeah, no, <laughs> he's, he's very very bad. Um, but yeah, you understand what I'm saying. It's yeah. just like I don't know if it's the character models or you know how, what it is, but 
for some reason, if I play Toon Link and play PM for a while, and then I go back and play Young Link, I I, I just miss a lot yeah, of Yeah, when you get into stuff, a rhythm, you know? and then you you have a character that has some similarities, but there's yeah. enough different where it kind of throws you off. Well, there's so many uh, other options in this game. Like, one of the things I like about PM is that, like, you know, uh, just different shield pressures and stuff. You can push it. Follow Hype! Darkney754, thank you for the follow. Your brother. Hey, I gotta be honest, man. That's a really intense game. Really close. That last game, he kind of, kind of beat himself up a little bit. I feel like you know after he uh, SD'd a little bit, and then he, um, like just after that, he kind of seemed like he was a little off. You know, he wasn't really feeling that as much. But he beat me the first game. I mean, he's a, he's a good link player. It was a really fun match. Nice. Especially, I think this. Is oh, the we first had a time bomb I've bomb. Dang. Oh, dang. We got Mike Moff as Peach here. Kumbi wow. as Toon Link. What are your thoughts on this match? I know if this were oh, you know, if this were Melee and this were Young Link, this would actually be a fairly decent match. It's a fairly decent match, similar? but uh, well, to be honest, I haven't seen a lot of Peach in Peach Project M, but sure. I have played against Mike here, and like, you know, I, I love the matchup. Yeah. I think uh, it's. In, in my opinion, easier in this game to set up the boomerang and bomb combos to down air. Yeah. And Peach is so easy to kill with down air. So I think uh, I think Young Link can get it done. And that might be why Tyler's playing him right now. Uh, Tyler has also taken appreciation of uh, seeing the Toon Link play. And so he's, he's trying to pick it up too. So. That's good. That's the, that's the thing I think I love most about Project M is loving the character variety. Yep. So many more different characters being played. Oh, yeah. I mean, because think about it. How many Young Links or anything like that do you see? Or Pikachus in Melee getting to the top? Maybe just one or two gifted players, you know? But in this game, it seems like a lot of characters have a fighting chance. Yeah. Well, I think it makes it, it's, it, it makes it so much more fresh to play, and it makes it so much more fun to watch, too. Yep. You know, you get tired of watching the, uh, the tournaments where every other game is... You know, Fox Marth or mm -hmm. Sheik Falco. Yeah, like, I, I feel like it, this game hasn't had a tier list identified yet. I mean, there's yeah. so many things that are still changing and everything. The game's still being worked on, so I think you're going to see everybody just playing the character they want to play. They're either their favorite character or their favorite playstyle. Yeah. Which I love because that's what this game was all about, right? That's, yeah. That's what soccer I wanted. What do you think is going to happen, though, when the next Smash comes out? You think it's going to be played a lot? Or do you think it'll be like Melee and Smash 4? You know, I gotta say, when I, I still do, I love Brawl as kind of the party game it was intended to be. Yeah. Uh, obviously, as a competitive oh, wow, fighter, but <laughs> it's a little lacking. Uh, and I think Smash 4 will largely be the same way. There, I think there will be a competitive scene. But I, I do. I think Sakurai and I think Nintendo want to cater at least a little bit to the competitive community. I think they Senpai has noticed us, right? So I think it'll be a better experience than Brawl was. Yeah, I mean, I think so too. Plus Mega Man, right? We got Mega Man now. <laughs> That's so hype. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I mean, who knows? There might be some more characters in there that you know haven't been shown yet. Yes, Jigglypuff, anything Certainly. like that. I'm still hoping I'm holding out for Raymark, too. I'm a big uh, hmm. custom Robo fan. Well, he was a trophy in Melee. Yeah. They're thinking about him. Yeah, Nick from Space. Uh, normally we hold Chateau. Uh, we hold it in our friend's uh, duplex down in Lincoln Ness. every I Thursday. I love that Ness outfit. The pajama one? Oh, yeah, the pajama Ness. I think, uh, I think Tyler plays a lot of Ness in this game, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Super home. fun character to watch. I think in, I think in I mean, all, the, all, all the games he's in, he's fun to watch. Uh, just because of the, the interesting movement with his double jump cancel. Right. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I haven't seen a whole lot of it in this game yet, but it looks like a lot of his moves don't have so much, uh, like, lag time on them. You know, like, his Definitely. neutral B, his neutral yeah. B seems like you might actually be able to use it now. Like yeah, actually be able to well, they, they, both with him and Lucas, they kind of, like, took a lot from the spaces to buff up their game a little bit. Like, they yeah. both have shines, uh, more or less. Uh, neither of them, I, I don't think, have... Uh, landing lag out of their up Bs. Mm -hmm. So just making them more uh, fast kind of pressure based characters. Oh, that PK fire. I've noticed a huge difference yeah. in PK fire. It seems like it traps you in a lot easier. You can do a lot more. Well, and it's so much faster too. Uh, and like you said, with the up B, it has much less landing lag or end lag in this game. Yeah. How are his throws in this? 
Are they pretty strong? Yeah, still very, very good. Uh, his down throw and his up throw are, are both good for comboing. His, uh, his forward throw is still static. Uh, and then obviously his back throw, his, oh, yeah, his yeah, really his good kill throw, throw is still there. Yeah, this should be an interesting match. I uh, I didn't see Peach die right away. Did I miss that? I mean, yeah, I think I might have missed it too. Yeah, it must have been really, really quick. But I guess that's the point of the stage. So. Yeah. I would definitely be taking Peach here if it were me. It's just... Now, I like what Mike's doing right there. You know, he's starting to camp yeah. a little bit more with the turnups, and I think that's really important. Certainly, because I don't think Peach can win the close game. Because, see, like, for that there. reason right there, he doesn't want to get trapped in the PK fire. So, I think the more he, he gets to his plant turnups, I think the better off he is. Mike uses oh. the PK flash there. That also got a buff in this game. Uh, it's a little weaker, but it moves a lot yeah, more it's quickly. Fast. Yeah, you could follow somebody with it. Seems like the range is a little smaller too, or is that just how it is in Brawl? Uh, I think the range is a little longer vertically, mm. or horizontally, sorry, uh, and then might be a little lower vertically. Oh, nice kill. Oh, well that's strange. Yeah. I'm uh, not sure exactly what happened there. <laughs> I've noticed that uh, Mike's having a lot of trouble getting his down smashes here. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I mean, I guess that's just part of the matchup. Ness would be really hard to trap in your down smash, and that's one of Peach's, yeah. you know. What, what he's got to do, he has to wait for Ness to kind of go for that uh, double jump canceled fair. Uh, and then just kind of crouch cancel down smash. Mm -hmm. But if Ness is quick, he, he also might be able to grab out of that before the down smash will come out. Oh wow, well, this might do it. No. no, wow, they uh, made that a little weaker. Yeah. Really, that, that would be a really, really strong throw. So I'd like to see more from Ness uh, instead of kind of these standing PK fires. Uh, Ness's PK fire is actually a really good zoning tool if you use it out of a jump. Yeah, like maybe if you was above the platform and throw it down, like yeah. into a diagonal. Well, and you become much more mobile to follow it up too, right? Because you can PK fire and then double jump cancel into a, an aerial. Mm. How many people do we have enter Project Death? Uh, nine or ten, I think. Really? It, it could have changed. Uh, uh, it's too bad since in Lincoln you guys have like 20, I think we had like 25 people yeah. last time. Yeah. Well, we, get, we get a lot of the Huddle folks. Shout out to Huddle who come out every week. And well, I suppose play. there's also the tournament tomorrow, too. So if a lot of people are going to come play tomorrow, they might yeah. not want to come today. So. I spent, yeah, especially the Lincoln folks, too. Yeah. We're, we're driving up two days in a row, but that's not. Oh, you guys are driving that. Well, I guess that makes How long? It's probably like an hour. Yeah, it's about an hour. <laughs> not bad. Well, that's about half and half. So it's about half Lincoln, half Omaha. Actually, yeah. you might even have more Lincoln people here than we have Omaha. Yeah, and I, I'm loving that because I, I know the Omaha scene's been fairly active for a while, but yeah, here at Underground, actually, we've had like I've been here some days where there's probably 15 people here. Yeah. So uh, definitely a lot of people playing, but like I said, maybe they're just trying to play tomorrow for the tournament. So, yeah. Really get, glad we're starting to see the the Lincoln community get more active, though. Yeah, this is uh, this is really good that we've had so many players. You know, um, it's been a long time since we've had a good good scene to be able to play tournaments yeah. with. I mean, so for a while, it was like tournaments just had to be round robin because there wasn't hardly anybody playing, so yeah. definitely good. Ooh. See, I think Mike's finally figuring that out right there. He's, he's playing more of the, the keep away game. Oh, wow. Yeah, down smash and other moves that was extremely well buffed in this game. Uh, I would I would say in melee it was probably one of the worst moves in the game. Uh, what, I'd, what I'd like to see out of Mike here is if when when he gets Ness off the stage to to go out and just eat the, the PK Thunder. Yeah. yeah. Because there's a lot of times that we're seeing Ness kind of do his up beat close to the edge, you know. And I mean, if he could just float right out and grab that, yeah, certainly that'd be it. And it's understandable, right? Like Ness is pretty scary if he hit if he gets that PK Thunder going, but. Well, you know, so many of the players here, I mean, majority of the players here are all new to tournaments. Actually, in fact, I think me and JBM are probably on well, Tizers here, too, yeah. that have played in tournaments quite a bit. So, you know, 
even though this is a small deal, it's easy to get your nerves going, you know, you really don't want to lose, you play more conservatively. Yeah, definitely. And so that might be getting them, getting them to you. Oh, wow. There it is. That's crazy. So fast, the range is huge. Yeah, that is very fast. I mean, would you say that's Ness's, one of Ness's best edge guards then? I mean, it uh, seems like it'd be really, really it's good. A lot like in Melee, it's a very situational edge guard. Uh, certainly much less so in this game, and you know, quite a bit stronger. Sad recovery indeed. Yeah, I think with, with Ness, the golden rule is that when you're trying to recover, never use your PK Thunder towards the stage. Yeah. Always away. <laughs> unless you were Lucas, I suppose, maybe you could get away with it. Yeah, or unless you're Simna. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Simna could do that junk, but I'm pretty sure he had, like, he game shark Ness or something. There's no way. <laughs> Yeah, I think it would have been cool for them to put another mother character in uh, in the next match. Wow, really nice up yeah. B there. He knew the spacing on that. So we, we haven't had any mother characters confirmed for Smash 4 yet. Which is sad. Yeah. Did you ever play Earthbound? Yeah, I actually uh, played it for the first time last year. Oh, really? Oh, it's definitely one game. of my favorite games game. at this point. Like, yeah, if they could have put, like, Isaac or somebody in that game, it would have been so cool. Who would have been... Maybe too similar, so I mean, like, Isaac could have at least had, like, some guns and stuff, yeah. different items, bottle rockets, that would have been cool. Wow, that over B. Oh, 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 Stitch! That was a Stitch face? Wow. Well played. Yeah, Stealth, I do think Jeff would actually be a really cool character, and you'd have an opportunity oh, Jeff. for... Did I say... What did I say? Did I say Isaac? Isaac. Mm -hmm. Isaac, what the hell did I say Isaac for? I meant Golden Jeff. Sun? No, I meant Jeff. Yeah. I don't know. I was playing Binding of Isaac the other week. Maybe that's... Oh, okay. in my head. And, like, you know, Isaac kind of sounds That'd like a, a cool character name, too. so maybe, you know... I, I don't know. I, I apologize to all the Mother fans. Yeah. I love Earthbound so much, I don't know how the hell I can yeah. say that. Jeff would be cool, because, then yeah, he'd have a moveset that's a little different from Ness or Lucas, since he doesn't have the... Uh, the psychic powers. Yep. Or even like if they did Pokey or something, that would have been kind of neat. I don't know what he would do though. This guy's Isaac. Maybe I knew that, and that's that's why I said it. Okay. Oh, we have a match. Something. You have a match, or oh, I have a match. I have a match. You have a match. All right. Later this guy right here. Yeah. Hey, let's get let's get uh, Cumby right here. Let's let's talk about your, your match, man. How you feeling about that? You. Hello stream, hello chat, hello everyone watching. Did you flip a couch? Did I flip a couch? No, I almost did. Hey, no, that was that was a good game, man. That was a close close set. Um, I think uh, your Ness was definitely putting out a lot better better moves than Toon Link. Yeah, yeah. I know he does, but I don't good characters, so. Well, you just gotta like find that find that character. You know, like you play Sheik a lot in Melee, so you no. don't like Sheik in Project M. No, I I don't I don't like Sheik and Project M because they took away her down throw to everything. Oh, did they? Yeah, yeah, they took can that she, away. Uh, so can she tether? What's that? Is there overbeat? No, oh. no, nope. Sheik doesn't have a tether. That's not a real thing. It's so stupid. That's too bad. I know. Oh, this will be very interesting. Oh, we got JBM versus. Yeah, I this is gonna be Ike versus Mewtwo. Hmm. JBM versus Mewtwo is obviously uh, high level stuff. Uh, oh yeah. But you know, Uli is. Pretty good with Ike too, so I think this will be a really, really interesting game. I haven't seen his Ike play, so I'm really interested to see it. Yeah. But now JBM's Mewtwo is, is something nasty. Yeah, he's just throwing out these nares, just racking up damage. Oh wow. And on this stage, what do you think the percent uh, Mewtwo's up throw kills on this stage? Oh, I it's all character dependent, really. Um, I don't know Ike's. Oh, that's, that's too bad. Right there. Yeah, wow. SDs always suck, but that's what happens. Well, a lot of people still get used to the Project Death things. So. Yeah. You know, in, in Nebraska, it just really hasn't been played until really recently. Yeah. I mean, so everyone's, everybody here is really still adjusting to the game. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. Yeah, every, every match is fun. Yeah. Every match always has something, like, okay. to offer. Yep. Well, you just never know what's going to happen. I don't know why he did that. Now, can I really effectively uh, 
Edge guard? You two? Oh, wow. Oh, never yeah. Edge right there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, never mind, folks. We, we see it. No, uh, I know. I just didn't know exactly because, you yeah. know, if Mewtwo was sweet spotting that ledge with his teleport, mm -hmm. I mean, how would you really stop that? Or like, oh, wow. I don't, I don't really know because I. Spike. I don't know. Ike really doesn't have a lot of moves to edge guard, I think, but I don't know. I think Ike's a weird character. But one thing I haven't seen, or I haven't really seen Yulai utilize, is the Ike has a side B. You can jump cancel his side B into a grab. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah, so like you can be like on the right side of the stage, and Mewtwo King, or Mewtwo would be like around like the platform on the left, and you could just fully charge it and just go and act like you're going to attack, but ju then just grab him. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I'll have to see if he pulls that out. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, Eli looks like he's having some trouble getting in. I mean, JBM's just facing those neutral Bs so well. Yeah. Wow. I mean, yeah, he's doing a really good job of just zoning it out. And, you know, oddly enough, Mewtwo is the kind of character that can actually outrange characters like I. Oh, or yeah. at least match his range. Yeah, like... Mewtwo's uh, tail is just nice. ridiculous. Like, the range on it for every attack that it has is retarded except for except for the up air yeah the, the up air is small but the back air and the forward tilt are just stupid i think man i really wish i could come to the tournament tomorrow yeah me too me too you're not coming here tomorrow no man no nope, already have I plans gotta, i gotta be out of town but i would really love to see see this go on with a lot more people is this supposed to be a pretty big tournament for uh well, there's, for gonna, Smash? there's gonna be a lot of fighting game players here yep. too and I know a lot of them just kind of dabble around and get into the bracket and stuff and have fun with it yeah um, so I think I think it actually will have a good turnout nice that's good it's always it's always nice to see a decent turnout oh, at tournaments wow. unlike this one well nothing nothing wrong with that oh, yeah. I mean, even at a small tournament you can still get a lot of good play in. oh yeah oh yeah for sure Oh. Especially, you know, it's definitely understandable with the tournament coming tomorrow. Wow, what a well-placed freaking, what do you call that? I just call it neutral B, but it's like a yeah. plasma ball of some kind. Oh, it's a uh, shadow ball. Shadow ball. I'm yep. going to start calling it shadow ball. I like that. Name. But no, the shadow balls are just like, hmm. he's placing them so well. I don't think yeah, he is. Even... Oh, wow, I didn't know the hitbox was even back behind him. Like that. I don't think anybody does. Not. Oh, with this oh. kill? Yeah, I yeah. think I think because Ike's so heavy. Yep. Just throwing him up like that. Doesn't need a sword. Doesn't need a sword, he's just gonna throw it. No. That's that's good. You don't need a sword when you got a tail. When you have psychic powers. Oh yeah. But no, JBM, uh yeah, his me too. He's definitely leveling it up, man. Oh yeah, dude. He's, he's been practicing a lot. He's working it. He's working it. One thing one represent. thing one thing I love to see with Mewtwo is when he uh is when he goes with a grab and then he either up throws or down throws them and then he teleports and side B grabs them. Ooh. Use the command grab. It's it's super cool. And then he just keeps on chain grabbing people like that. And it just makes for good stuff. Just like they stayed. Oh. JBM just spamming neutral B. Ooh. Jeez. Yeah, that forward tilt. Great job. Oh, oh wow, man. I suppose that's uh, uh, interesting. You lie with that taunt, though. Oh, he's right. going to take a lot of damage for that. 58%. Uh -huh. Oh, that oh. up tilt. Every move with, oh, the, every wow. move with Mewtwo's tail I don't is think, just OP. I don't think JBM liked that taunt. Either. Oh, no. <laughs> JBM's like, you got to prove that taunt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you got to like, prove that taunt. You got you to gotta fight for that. Oh, yeah. Wow, that stock was very, very one sided Oh, yep, see, there was that there command is. grab. Oh, wow, that counter even dodged. He's so floaty. Yeah. So what characters do you find would be uh, a good match against Mewtwo? Like, who would counter Mewtwo? I think a good counter against Mewtwo could possibly be Ivysaur. And, um... Honestly, I can't really think of any oh, other ones. I know Ivysaur would be... Because, like, Ivysaur just has, like, more range than Mewtwo does. And if it gets the, and if it gets the Solar Beam all the way charged, it has a chance to... Like, it just has that chance to hit. Oh, wow. Oh, that's too bad he couldn't make that back. Yeah. That would have been crazy. Yeah, I think Ivysaur would be really good against Mewtwo. Maybe Lucas, because Lucas is really fast. And he just combos so well and you just have to stay stay on the player and I think if you get right. within Mewtwo King or oh, Mewtwo King. Oh wow what a spike from 
Mewtwo's teleport so good. <coughs> if you get close to Mewtwo King, is that what you said? Yeah, every time I say Mewtwo, I end up saying Mewtwo King. It, <laughs> it, it's, it's a habit. It's just like, oh, Mewtwo, I might as well just add King on to the end of it. Wow, what a great play. I mean, the Shadow Balls into the teleport and coming up and doing the forward air, that's just, that's such good pressure. Yeah. Do you think it's possible to, uh, I haven't oh. seen it done yet, but if you could Shadow Ball, teleport up, and then if you see that they're shielding the Shadow Ball, do a grab? That could be a really nice I don't nasty know. I think approach. you might. You could probably do that. I think you might be able to. Oh, man. You, you just have to time. Nuts. You just have to time where to grab a mat with a shadow ball. Yeah. But that was some some good play right there. Oh yeah. You like couldn't really figure out what to what to do. I mean, how to approach you two. And yeah. Is. Like that, I, that. Well, see, the, the greatest thing about it, like when I'm watching JVM play, is that he's doing such a good job of zoning them out and putting the shadow balls in the right place. But then yeah. at the same time. At any moment, he'll just teleport in and yeah. then just start a combo off. Yeah. You know? And so it's like, when do you, when do you even try to approach? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just, he just closes so many options so fast, and it's just hard to react to it. Stream smooth as butter. I agree. Smooth or like butter. as butter. Can't believe it's not butter. Smooth like Keith Stone. You know what I'm saying? Keith do you remember those commercials? Stone. Oh yes. Now this stream, I gotta say, I mean this stream is it's smooth. is top. Oh, I mean this is really, really good. It's very nice. Oh, I'm expecting nice. to see an exciting match here. Oh wow, this we've will got, be a good match. We've got who, our. Who is Eli playing? Oh, is he playing DDD? No, or Eli, is that Ghoul? Eli's playing Fox. D oh, really? DDD is Ghoul. Yep. That's surprising to me because uh, Tyzer was a DDD player in Brawl. Really? Yeah. So uh, I thought maybe that was him. Yeah. But uh, no, this should be a good game. These are both. Good players. Uh, mm -hmm. Ghoul has really been coming up. Oh, uh, definitely, dude. Ghoul's, Ghoul's one of the the fat, one of the rising stars. And, and he was an original uh, brawl player, so he knows oh. about a lot about the uh, newer characters. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh using wow. the Waddle Dee as a shield for the lasers. Oh, I like wow. that. Yeah, Tizer, he's got those those quick quick moves. Oh, oh wow, that's too bad. Tizer with the quick SD. That uh, it's not looking too well. Oh, but these shines. Oh wow. That oh. shield pressure on DDD. I don't know if he's really got an option to get out of his shield and do anything there. That's I don't back. know. Oh god, there oh, it is. Wow, those oh wow, Oh, DDD's fastballs and L cancels. Oh, They're wow. so. DDD's nair is so good. That's got to be hard to tag. Yeah. Like DDD is almost like, like, almost like you can press just as many buttons like as Fox or Falco. Like if you keep on doing like those short hop fastball L cancel moves. Nice, nice cool. Nice recovery. He went up and uh, canceled his up B on the platform there. Yep. Being able to cancel DDD's up B is amazing. Because you can just like oh, cause wow. so many Very mind nice. games. Very nice. Oh, the, the wow. down B cover? Oh. Ghoul's really feeling it. Yeah, Ghoul. No, he's on his game right now. He's definitely putting in the pressure. Putting on the work. Oh, wow. All the grabs. Down it. Oh, he really oh. wanted that re grab. That yep. reset. Got would, have been, would have been a lot of damage. Yeah. This is this is a nice game of new gen versus old gen. Yeah, no, it really is. Oh wow, the attack reads. I'm really impressed with the way Ghoul's playing. Oh, dude, Ghoul's on point right now. That's a great move. I don't think he meant to roll right there. I think he tried to wave dash forward and get the uh, another forward tilt. Mm -hmm. Would yep. have ended Fox. Yep. Nice job. He's staying back. He's really just playing. He's abusing his range. Right yeah, now. Oh, he definitely wow. is. He wants. He's, Very nice. He's forcing uh, Tizer to go to him. Yep. Which I mean, he knows he outranges him. He says, "Hey, if I can get to you first, oh, is he gonna make this? Nice. Yep. Oh, trying, trying to happen to hit him on the other. Let's see here. Oh, I think I think Tizer read that. Oh. He just goofed up a little bit. Yep. Let's see if Tizer can. Now, I comeback. think Ghoul, what he's trying to do, I think he's trying to lure him out there to do a, to oh, a neutral B to suck, oh, him, suck up him up and, and then take shoot him down. under the stage. I, I, I think if he can, if Tizer uh, doesn't get out of it fast enough, I think he'll just take him straight down and commit a suit and commit a DDD side. Since, man, he, is, since he has the extra stock. Man, I am hyped for this game right yeah, now. I've been, I've been playing friendlies with Ghoul this week, and uh, so I'm kind he's of impressive. Here. Yeah, he. Uh, oh wow, he's just—he's just really good at getting those reads. Yeah, he, he knows what to do. Ooh, the up air, the up air, the fair. Oh wow. God, these nares. Oh wow, oh. man, these combos. I mean, oh, and he gets the waddle D. Yeah, Google. Oh, tries to hit the Google's on Google's on fire right now. I almost said Google. Google. <laughs> oh, he's oh, going for oh. it. Oh, he's oh no. Up. That's too bad. I think he was trying to I, do a back air into the stage, but he accidentally did mm -hmm. his neutral. Yep. Yep. 
Oh, uh, he's going for that. Oh, very nice. Tizer putting in shield. Tizer putting on that shield presser. Shield pressure. No, oh, yeah, he's he's Tizer's not doing a bad job at all. I just don't think he knows what to expect from VD. Oh yeah. Oh, good oh, fair. Wow, yeah, very That'll, nice. Dang, game well, one goes to Ghoul. Yeah, well played. I don't, very well played. Honest, honestly, I, I expected it to be a good match, but I didn't expect Ghoul to take game one. He's moving very fast. I, I didn't think DDD was going to be moving that fast. Yeah, I just, he's keeping up with Fox. Yeah, D DDD definitely, definitely isn't uh, as heavy as he seems. Now, heavy. How, do you know how the neutral B works in this game for DDD? Because I know, like, when you get sucked up by it, it seems like it's harder to break out right away. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, did they add time to it where you can't get out? I don't know. See, I'll. One one example I have with like the the vacuum like that DDD and Kirby have is I threw an I threw a Marth up tilt into Kirby's suction and right before it was it hit him the sword got caught in the suction and I got sucked up and Kirby sucked me up. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so I think I think they put more priority over uh, their suction moves their neutral bees. Oh wow, nice wave landing up there. Ooh, I just feel like ooh, he's playing really well right now. And Tizer is as well. Oh, yes. But, I mean, I guess it's just crazy. I mean, you've seen so much of Fox and Melee just, yeah. uh, just an hour ago that right now it's like, oh, my God, DDD. Oh, Welcome, Game Genie, man. He's just joining Game up. Genie in the chat? Game Genie. Grime, Grime Genie. Grime Genie, Genie as yeah, he likes yeah. to be called now. Welcome. That is, is that his Project M name? Is Grime Genie instead of the No. Game that, oh, <gasps> there it is. He got, wow. he got the suicide. That's a fair trade. He, he got the That's a very side. fair trade. I didn't see the percent on but I think he was mm -hmm. gathering some percent. So, hey, just yeah. might as well wipe it clean, you know. Yeah, what, what what I think what Kirby and DD oh, mains wow, look for that's is... that's going to do it for Tizer, I think. No, oh, never mind. No, you know what I thought? I thought uh, I thought Google was going to go ahead and sacrifice himself again and go ahead and take Tizer out down there yeah. and then just oh. have the lead. Did you see that fast tech? Ghoul, Ghoul recovered, landed, and then quickly air dodged. Yeah. Or no, he went up and then just air dodged back so he could get onto the ledge. Right. And it was freaky fast. Freaky fast like Jimmy John's. Oh, dude, yeah. Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's delivery. Shout out to Michael. Where is he at, man? Uh, dude, shout out to up tilt. Oh, wow, that four tilt. Will that get him if he's sweet? Oh, that sweet mm. spot. What a perfect. Yeah. If he went a sweet spot right there, he would have lost that stock, I think. Dude, Fox. I'm I'm glad they still kept Fox's recovery like as OP as it is. Really? Because, no, I know I'm I'm fine with it. I'm fine with them keeping Fox OP because like they kind of built like the like all the characters like I think they built like the characters like just oh, wow. up around whoa, Fox. Whoa, whoa, hey, hold on a second. We gotta we gotta look at this. I mean, this is the comeback right here. Tizer's really starting to see. I think he's figured out what what to expect from DDD here. He's playing that good keep away game. Look yeah. at that smooth grab. Oh my God. I don't know if Google Google knows what to do here. I really think he should have on that one. Uh, when he had him down below, yeah. I think he should have sacrificed himself mm -hmm. and got him to the last stop. Yeah. You don't want to play games with Fox. You know? Yeah. Oh, oh. He oh, he's giving him the jabs. Oh wow. I don't know if he meant to do that. I think he was kind of waiting to see if he could get a get some kind of move out. Yeah. There it is that, again. That was, but you that was know a great what? I don't. I don't know. I don't agree with that. You don't? I don't agree with that. He was. He was up. Uh, he was ahead. And with Fox, you don't. Oh man, I don't know. That might come back to beat him. Now he might prove me wrong. Right now. I mean, yeah. he might actually win this, but I think mm -hmm. that can come back to hurt him. If he wasn't going to sacrifice himself oh. at that one oh. time, it's too risky to do it now. Oh, oh. my! And Ghoul takes Lord. the set. Ghoul takes the set. Oh my wow. God! What an F smash! That was amazing. Well played. Oh my God! Nice, dude. That was impressive. This is, this is just. He hit him right on the top, right with the hand, the mallet, the head of it. The face. All right, I gotta oh. play again. Echo. So nice, uh, nice commentating. Hey, with dude, you. it was fun. I'll be back, man. Oh yeah, dude, come back. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh my God, that was a great match. Ghoul Tizer, Ghoul taking the win. That was, that was amazing. Oh my God. That's all I can say. That was amazing. Dirty D D D dude. Dirty D D D. God, those, <laughs> those short hop nair L cancels. Those are crazy. Those are crazy fast. DDD just became like the third fastest character in the game. <laughs> like, like I'm just like DDD. He's he's floaty, but he's big, so he's just gonna be slow. No, 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 dude, you, no. And you'd think he'd be like really easy to you know just kill off stage. Mm -hmm. No, he just no. comes back however oh, yeah. he pleases. He's got those multiple jumps. Just got oh. that, got that oh. jank up B. The, yes, <laughs> yes. It's crazy that you can like you can just jump out or like you can cancel like the up B like whenever. Yeah. Cancel everything. God. That's what that's what makes PM fun. 
I don't like the game, but that's just what makes it fun. Is like, you never know what's gonna happen because characters like keep, just change constantly. Well, there's just so much that's new, and there's so much that's oh, actually yes. viable, right? Yeah, like, like God, the the game's always changing. Like everything's yeah. always changing. Like I think it's crazy how when when the game or when they first came out with the tier list that they put Toon Link down at the bottom because I think Toon Link is amazing in this game. Yeah. Well, that's the that's the thing. It seems like the. The tier list isn't as big a deal anymore because there's not that big of a gap between the bottom and the top like yeah. there is with other Smash mm -hmm. games. Yep. Uh, what are we going to see here? I, I like the, like, Frasier music we got going on. Oh, here. yeah. Yeah. Good old, good old 90s. Stream, you would have been proud. I just played two tournament path matches on uh, Foresight and Pirate Ship. Oh, Foresight. Dude, Foresight. Oh, no, I like Onet. Onet is the best map. <laughs> Onet's super fun. Fal Falcon Ditto's on Onet. <laughs> Dude, you there's so much tech you can do. I made them I made the mistake of playing uh, Ness on four side and he can't recover on that stage. Yeah. It was that, super sad. That'll definitely happen. Alright. Alright, we got so, Toon Link versus Ganondorf. This this is kind of in the lore. This is kind of old school Ganondorf for this fight, but oh, yeah. we'll allow it. Ooh, shielding that entire upbeat, dang. Ooh, missing the up tilt. Grab. Oh, God. That was a dirty follow up. That was a fair. No, you sit down. Oh, follow hype! <laughs> follow hype. We got Puchika278. Thank you, Puchika. Alright, back to the game. Good grab. Oh, tries to hit the down smash. Missed that. Ooh. Gets, Ooh. Oh. Throws out a dare, but gets dared himself. The beat. Damn. Oh. Using that fair. Oh, he's charging that arrow. Oh, he knew exactly what he wanted. Oh my god. I talk, and I talked to Brian. Uh, he's a spacey main in Melee, so I yep. asked him why he switched to Ganondorf with him, and he just said he's beefy. Yeah. <laughs> he's, because <laughs> he, he's beefy? Right. He loves throwing out the the, uh, the fair in this game. Still has the disjointed hitbox, yep. but it's so much bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just throw it out there. One thing I like about Ganondorf is his uh, <laughs> is the bus, his down B. Oh yeah, the Mega Bus. That's the uh, the Batmobile. Oh my God, yes. The oh, Batmobile. the Fire Spike. Oh, sub hype. Linkman 13. Thank you, Linkman 13. Thank oh, the kid. Oh, 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 the up B kill. Echoes back. Echoes back. Grandma's soup. Great, great uh, off stage play by both players. Seeing some great stuff here. Oh man, these tech chases with the up B. Yep. Oh, misses off air. Snare. Oh, Toon Link Snare. It's impressive how like much priority and how good Toon Link Snare is. Yeah, definitely. Well, and it combos into itself, too. It's like mm -hmm. a spacey Nair. Yeah, you, you just get taken for a ride on the Nair plane. Oh, misses right. the bomb. Echo being a little more careful here, opting to sit back or the projectiles. Yep. Oh, oh misses, misses the, the glide time. toss. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Follow a hype! Top, top, hype! Vampire Child for the win. You are indeed for the win. Thank you very much. Thanks for subbing. Jesus Christ, what's with all these subs? This is this is crazy. No. We've we've had follows. three we've had we we've had oh yeah, follow, whatever. We've had three in like two minutes. Or like or no, a minute. Yeah, yeah, follows. Yeah, no no subs. I just say sub. Yeah, we're not approved for sub yet, but what's up? We getting there. Hmm? No, not yet. But it gets us closer to being able to have subs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you gotta get approved for to become a Twitch partner. I don't know, Cam, how many followers do we have on this channel? Alright. 120 Echo. followers on this channel right now. Nice. That's 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 a fair amount. That's Jew Chains, dude! Jew Chains! <laughs> Jew Chains. Welcome, welcome Jew Chains. I I like your name. Because it deals with because I was Jew in it. Is it kind of weird that we just like have names pop up in chat? I feel bad for the lurkers, you know. Yeah, but oh my god! Oh, this this kid right here, Reebok, is uh, Satisfiler's younger brother. Oh really? Hey Eric, thanks for stopping by. I don't know why you're not here, but it sucks to be you. Yeah, sad you're not here with us. Thanks for hopping in the chat though. Yeah, I was like 100% sure him and his gang was gonna be here. Oh, we got a gang We're going yeah. deep. Yeah, yeah, they they. It's like him and like four other people, five other people. Nice. They, they just usually come together. So it's nice. Alright. There goes my 
Genie. Shut up, Game Genie. <laughs> Alright, back back to this game. We're, oh, Brian... Back on PS2. Brian switched to Fox because he realized Ganondorf didn't get it done, so... Let's see if he can pull out those uh, melee tricks. Get that good stuff going. But Echo just putting in the work, just finally taking damage. Oh, oh tries to go for the Shine Spike. Another risky you air. Uh, Echo taking the nice, uh, nice edge guard. Taking the stock. I'm kind of ambivalent about characters like Fox in this game. On the one hand, I like that there are, you know, very melee-ass characters to make the transition e easy mm -hmm. for new players. Yep. On the other, I would like to see, like, some updated movesets for these older characters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I think it would be nice, but considering it is Project M. Yeah. Well, and I understand why the backroom does it, right? There are a lot of people who would be very unhappy changing up their oh, favorite yeah. characters from yeah. melee. Mm-hmm. Yep. Good uh, up smash from B Climber. Let's see if uh, Echo can return the favor. This Fox looking uh, near death percent. Ooh, Echo just making some great follow ups here. Whoa. Oh, that was a nice up B. Mm -hmm. Good on Brian for DIing out, though. Oh, definitely. Getting under him. Oh, yeah, you don't want to get hit by that. While, while it doesn't do a lot of percent, like. It 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 gives you a free 19% if you get if you get someone caught in there and they don't di. So Definitely. on one hand that's nice, but on the other hand, uh, if they do di out, they can uh, yeah. punish you really easily. Very risky move, definitely. Mm -hmm. But it's just such a good move, though. You, you just have to risk it. Well, and it helps in this game that you can move with it. Oh uh, in, yes. In melee with both characters, you couldn't move with the up B. Yeah. But the good thing about Toon Links is that you can charge it, so you can like kind of play yeah. mind games with people. So. That's nice. Oh, good up smash. Oh, oh, the DI. Oh my god. I had the aerial glide toss. Oh, and he's back! Yeah, people call Young uh, Toon Link's recovery in this game bad, and, you know, it's not the best recovery, but it's but it's definitely better than what yeah. people give it credit for. Uh huh, because once you can bomb jump, like, then, then if you want to, then you can just tether yourself back. Oh, good up smash. Good take. One thing I've noticed is that Brian is like, or B Climber is really good at getting those up smashes in, like, like yeah, the definitely. like the running up smashes. Because in in melee he just gets them, like, he, and he can just space them perfectly where he just barely, like, just barely hits yeah. them, but it always gets the kill. Brian's play style like that is very much like that. Like what he lacks in you know maybe neutral game ability, he's very good at being able to you know just run in and throw the right move. Oh yeah. He's very aggressive that way, and it works for him. Yeah, oh yeah, it, it definitely does. I, I like his play, so I like playing against him. It's always fun. And both players kind of making a mistake here, seeing if they can make up for it. Oh, Echo. Oh. <laughs> Echo going oh. for the boldness. And this is it, but... That's always... And I say this as someone who plays Young Link in Melee, that's always really tempting to go for the dare under the stage because oh, yeah. it's just so swag. Yeah. But it's almost always a bad choice. Yep. Oh, good fair. <laughs> Takes a game. Very nice, very nice. Oh, yep. That Toon Link. Toon Link represent. Such a good character. Cool, cool. Where at? JVM. Alright. Alright, we've got. We're gonna get JBM here on the mic. Commentating with me. Oh god, the muscle flex. Oh, look at how big that bicep is. So big. So beefy. Oh, then that, oh, the trap and forearm. Oh. What's going on, guys? Welcome back, sir. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, we, got, we, got, we got the fun game playing now. PM, PM. PM oh, is yeah. so new and enjoyable. Oh, man. So much new stuff. God. Where are you doing? Where, how far are you in the bracket? Uh, I played one game and I lost it. So, Who'd you play? Um, Moffat, he played Peach. I know, I know very little about Peach, and especially when I don't know, it's just hard for me to get into like getting close to Peach because like just the turnups and the down smash oh. just kind of throw me off sometimes. Okay. Yeah, because what what he did, he uh, he really threw like the turnups like a lot, so oh. I just get hit by him and then he dash attack and then Peach's side B in this game is oh my god, like yeah. it goes so far, like. I who is uh, who is Nick from Space? 
Thank you, anyways. Yeah, I'm so happy I got sponsored, man. Yeah, it's uh, it's really nice, you know, oh, yeah, to be playing Smash for so long, and then you know, Final, finally have a sponsorship Final, come yeah. out of nowhere. It was you know offered to me, and how can you turn down a sponsorship? I mean, right? I'll gladly represent anybody. Oh, definitely. definitely. But um. Anyways, sorry, I got distracted oh, by a stream. Perfectly fine. Anyway, okay. we so got a match going on. Yeah, so earlier, Ghoul beat Tizer. He did. With DDD. DDD. Wow. He beat Tizer's Fox. Yeah. Yeah, you missed a hype match. Jeez, I was wondering why uh, Kevin and Tizer were playing earlier. Anyways, uh, yeah. Yeah, who so is, is Ghoul? Who? I think Ghoul's playing Falco against Ike. Now, do you know much about this matchup? No, not at all. The only the only thing that I know about Ike that he has that's really personal to him is that you can jump cancel out of his side B and that his forward smash is kind of good. But that that's all I really know. I don't I don't think this I don't think this is a good match for Ike because you can't uh you can't side B recover because you can side B and then wall jump up and then up B yourself. Oh, I see. So okay. like so like if he was on like Green Hill Zone or Yoshi's, like he could just hit the wall and go up. Mm. But on this map he can't, so I'm not a fan of Battlefield in this game. I know it's similar to the Melee, but uh, I just I don't enjoy it. Yeah. Um, They're just better stages yes, in the game. very much so. I do love that Ghoul is playing uh, the Goku uh, Falco, though, right now. Oh, for sure. Oh, oh the follow. He, he did the JBM. He yep. always tells me he uh, he doesn't know when I'm going to do that, and I always uh, get it on him every single time. Nice. Um, all right, so we got neutral game going on right now. Yep. Ghoul is so good at following up with combos. Oh yeah, that's that's just one of the things that makes him good. Like he's just, he's I think I think he's one of the offensive juggernauts along with you in Omaha. Like cause cause like once he goes in, like he'll just wait patiently and then he'll go in for like ten seconds nonstop combo you, potentially kill you. It's it's ridiculous. But I mean yeah. if you get out of it, you get out of it. But usually he just gets back in on you. Yeah, there's a problem I mean playing aggressive is you put yourself out there, mm -hmm. but um I mean if you're creative enough and you know you can uh Make every uh, hit and uh, you know approach worthwhile. I mean, you can make combos happen, edge guards happen. Oh yeah. So, yep. I think the only thing that Falco doesn't have in this match is just range, because Ike's just so big. Yeah. Falco's recovery. If he's not using over B, I feel that his recovery is absolutely terrible. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely one of the worst. Like his up B's just so short. Like I know it's like shorter in melee too, but like I feel like it's even shorter in this game. It is, yes. What up, Grime Genie? Oh, uh, the Grime. Grime Genie is so knowledgeable about this game. Oh, it's crazy. He's my homie. He's teaching me the Grime of uh, Mewtwo. Oh yeah, oh, like three different like matchup guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I was just like, oh my god. Dude, he's taking you to Grime Town. He is. He's going to teach you that Mewtwo Grime. Hopefully uh, he can show up tomorrow and uh, we can uh, enjoy Game Genie's company. Oh, that'd be tight. Unfortunately, I won't be there tomorrow. Already had plans oh, planned out. Yeah. Made me sad because at first I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be here. But then like something came up, so I'm just like, oh, now I can't. Oh. So, it made me, so it made me a little sad, but <coughs> I'll make I hope you guys have fun. Yeah, there'll be future tournaments to come, so. Yeah. Finally have like kind of like a real tournament at Underground here to like test the potential. Yeah. The venue is decent. Oh it definitely. Definitely has it's definitely better than Rob's house. <laughs> Shout out to Rob's house for being small. Alright, so both players down to the last stock here. Seeing some seeing some patient play, seeing some waiting. No one really wants to go in. Ghoul with a good wave lands. He's staying on top of them. He's keeping the pressure there. Yeah. But Millhouse is uh, he's doing a really good job by keeping this close right now. Oh, definitely. Oh, Ghoul could be taken advantage of. Oh, no. Millhouse misses that edge guard. He makes the best of it. Oh, good there. Ghoul is just a very diverse and uh, he's he's very good at uh, adapting with practically any character. Yeah. What an edge guard. That might be it. Yep. Yeah. That'll be wow. it. Wow. First, uh, first match goes to Millhouse. Definitely. Will we see day to day? We'll see. I, I really want Ghoul to pull out the DDD. I feel like it's just it's just too good. Like I feel like even, even though like his Falco just got beat, I think his DDD is real. It's just top. It's it is. Top. Yeah. Because with DDD, the, the, the shuffled nares. Shuffled nares. Yeah. Oh yes, how I've fast seen that. they yeah. are! He's like, done, I saw him do like four to five in a yeah, row. It was I feel, amazing. I feel like like how fast you have to do that is like how fast you want to like if you want to like shield pressure with Fox. Like you just like like you have to press buttons, mm, so yes. many buttons. 
because it's crazy because he's just because he gets he doesn't get like off the ground with his short hop because he's so big so he just gets very little air and then once you just make that faster so good he did, he, he put it on Tizer Tizer wasn't expecting it at all oh, that, that's really? really what got him is like because Tizer didn't know the matchup oh here it is now what do uh, the small guys do without the, uh, the the large eyes do they do anything in this matchup uh, they uh, they will jump and and like when they jump they uh, like they like bring out a hitbox. I'm not entirely I'm not entirely for sure like what it is. Or... Millhouse is taking really crazy control of the match right now. Yes, See, he is. This is this is one flaw that I was wondering about day to day is that um, he uh, it seems like he doesn't have a lot of combos. He's very strong about fundamental play. Like yeah, if you will, he's a very very large penguin mark. Yeah, yeah, he really is. Like one of uh, one of GDD's best moves is his forward tilt. Yes, the range. Like, oh god, it's it's broke. And then if you can land a forward smash with DDD, that's that's a killer. What an edge guard, man! That was, Millhouse is taking complete advantage of this matchup right now. Yeah, he. I feel I feel like he's practiced Ghoul's, this before. Ghoul's a good player. Wow, this is a follow-ups are incredible. Yeah, Uli needs to take notes. <laughs> Uli play Ike? Yes, he does. I just nice. actually played Uli. Ooh, good back air. Oh no my smash. goodness gracious! His Ghoul is an amazing player. The no. gift. The gift, the Ghoul. It's that Brawl stuff. Oh, oh wow, I did not know you could do yeah. that. That's that's interesting. One thing one thing he did Ooh. do with the with the little with the with Oh my god, is this real? The vacuum oh the vacuum tech. But uh as I was saying, one thing that Ghoul did uh, against the match with Tizer with the Waddle Dees, he threw it out to block Fox's lasers. So really? so so like he threw it out. And like right They're as he so started, tall, the lasers. Well, no, right as he started lasering it, he picked it up and threw him up, and just like had it just like fall down and block the lasers. Wow! Like like it was just like a really impressive like little tech thing he did like with the item. The first time I played Ghoul was in Brawl, and he destroyed me. He three stocked me, and I got third at that tournament. Yeah. It was pretty disgraceful. Yeah. He's. I really believe he is an upcoming. Uh, He's, he's a prodigy of this game, yeah. especially in Nebraska. So yeah, I feel I feel like if we give him like a half a year, like because he's only he's only been playing melee like competitively competitively for half a year. I think if we give him another half year, dude, he's gonna be. There's so no telling good. how fast he'll get better or good. As long as he keeps uh, the fire alive, then yep. he'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good grab. Ghoul looking like he's gonna bring this back. I think he's figured out what he needs to do. Game genie, you better show up. Oh, good back air. Great DI, though. Nick, when did I play you? Was it in teams or was it in uh, singles? Oh. Oh, Ghoul's looking for the suction uh, suicide kill. Oh! Into the... Into the I, I don't even know what to call that. Suction combos. The, the suction combos are unreal. Wow. He's oh, the fair. Double fair. Triple, Triple fair! fair! Oh, oh man, my God. what a strong response. The power of 69. <laughs> the power of 69 right there. All right, so we got a, it's 1-1 one, one right now. Yeah, Ghoul made a huge comeback in that he match. He, he's just like, oh, you took two of my stocks? Bam, took four of yours. It's uh, Pulled it out. Uh, PM, Melee, you, you name it. The comebacks are unreal in this game. Yeah, the game, the game never changes, I guess. But it doesn't. Well, I mean, it's it, ever it, evolving. It, like, but um, I mean, when it comes to comebacks and you know the hype that's behind yeah. Smash Brothers, it's that's why we all play, right? Yeah. So, for the hype, the hype train never stops. All right, let's see where we're going. See, so, they banned uh, Yoshi's Story, Fountain, and Wario. Nick, where are you from? Are you from uh, South Dakota? Or are you from? Uh, are you locally? Uh, are you locally from uh, Omaha? Three, two, one, go. All right, third match. That Ooh. F tilt is unreal. Mm -hmm. Goes out a wobble D to be safe. There it is. Just, wow. you just using the wobble oh D. Oh my as gosh! Option. I think oh Ghoul's about to bring it in this match. He's ready. Oh, oh. my goodness! Ghoul has just taken. Oh man! I think Ghoul's figured out how to play Ike. He's downloaded him. He's on that Google Fiber. Oh, the fair wow. through the stage. God, that fair has a huge hit. That's, that's some chic shenanigans right there. Yeah, it is. Oh, the up tilt strong. Up air. I don't think he's. 
Oh, oh yeah, I don't agree with uh, Google's decision right there. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. Milhouse has got stage control right now. Yep. Oh, okay, oh, great he loses back it. Tries use that F tilt. Uh, no, no up uh, tilt right there by uh, Ghoul. Okay. Ooh. Milhouse following up. Okay, good, good follow ups. The one, the one thing I do like about Ike side B is that it's completely skill wise to hit it because you have to know when to get it off. Like it just, it just doesn't automatically do it like it did in Brawl. Okay. Like, like you have to press B again to like make the sword like go out. So like the longer you charge, the, ch the longer you charge it to make it more powerful, the harder it is the time because like the faster you move. Okay. So if you I want, see. so if you want to do the full charge on it, like you have to, you have to practice that timing. Because I've tried to do it just like in friendlies when I played Ike, just messing wow. around. Wow. There we go. Now is that forward throw? Is that forward throw to forward air? I think that's what he's doing. It's either forward throw or. Millhouse taking advantage right now. He's built a percent up. It's an even game now. Yep. Ike is a very, he's a very interesting character. He seems very balanced. Yeah. I just, uh, I feel as though his aerials are just far too slow and that you can take advantage of him. Ghoul, oh, oh great. Ghoul's coming back. Oh, Millhouse with the super armor. Oh man, what a flashy great. kill. Yeah. All right, Millhouse with the lead. That style. And he's, and he's kind of at a safe percent, well he was. Oh, okay. That was good. Tries to read without smash. Use that side be at short distance. All right, more grabs, more grabs is what I want to see. Yeah, they need to take him. So there it is. Yep. Wow. Oh, great pair. Oh, missed the nuke. Tries to use the waddle D. Oh, but doesn't punish. There's the there's that there's that. Oh shuffle man. There. The pressure is real. Oh man. Oh, but he hits him with the back air. Doesn't do anything. Is the waddle D out? Honestly. When he grabs the waddle D and does that, does it kind of like I know it isn't, but does does it kind of look like a soup like a like a wave dash of some sort? Because it looks like he's just like gliding once he grabs it. I'm not sure. Cause like he always moves like a very like large distance when he grabs him. Okay. Oh, that's great up there. That four B cancel is very interesting. Yeah. Ooh, Ghoul is going for some very strong reads. They're now he He's not necessarily losing stage control when he goes for it, which is yeah. not a bad idea, but... I just feel like it isn't necessary right now. Yeah, I, he especially just when he's losing right now. Yeah, he needs to take control. Oh! There it is. Even games, guys. 1-1 mm -hmm. yep. one, one right now. I feel like if Ghoul just plays Ghoul like he did in that second game, he'll just he'll just end this quickly. But you never know. Millhouse has been put up a really good fight. Yeah, see, there it was. All right. Oh. Now, if Ghoul is to su suck him up and uh, go for an SD, Ghoul, will, Ghoul, uh, wins. Ghoul, Ghoul wins. wins huh? yeah, because the person who commits the suicide wins. He gets the kill. Yep, it's the same rules with Kirby, DDD, and, and Ganondorf. Yeah. Wow. Okay, Millhouse is at the lead. All right, it's a tight battle right now. Oh, up bears. It's a close battle right now. Very close. I feel like Millhouse with stage control. One good hit from uh, each player, and the match will be over. Oh, the forward airs. God, he's using that fair through the stage. Just using it so well. Goes for the super hard read. Oh, is this a kill? Nope. Good DI. Oh, m oh. Fair. Fair. oh. Oh my God. Beautiful. Beautiful read by Wow, Kuro. good games. Takes game. That was probably some of the match. tightest matches we've probably seen tonight. Oh, definitely. So. That, was, that was a very. God, that matchup is just very interesting. Well, Alright, see you guys. Thank you, Cam. Yeah, that was, that was a very good match by both of you. That, that that matchup, that matchup is so weird. It's like like for both players. Yeah, definitely. Like I find like like DDD can do stuff to Ike, and then Ike can do stuff to DDD. Yeah. But like it looks like the matchup is more in Ike's favor, but I feel like just Gold just pulled yeah. it out somehow. I, I honestly don't really know. Like I, I feel like we were both a little unfamiliar with the matchup, oh, but it was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I think I think most people are like unsure about DDD because. He's just so weird. Like, yeah, he is a very strange character. Like, he sort of float. 
He's sort of floaty, but like, he's sort of heavy. I just don't know how to explain it. Yeah. Just an awkward character. But good win by Ghoul. Good job. Taking, taking the winner's bracket by Storm here. Oh, God. Whew. Man, we've had excellent matches here. Ghoul beating Tizer. Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, I'm up. All right, I'm playing. See you guys. Content. You alive. How's it going, you like? How's it going, man? Pretty good, pretty good. I'm having a lot of fun. All right. What do we got? JB Ember's Echo? Stealth, that's probably a pretty good uh, synopsis of DDD. what we call a heavy floaty. Dude, 15 people in the chat. We got a party up in here. Right. Mm -hmm. Give me a follower right now. <laughs> Dude, so you like, man. So it shall be done. <laughs> All right, we're going to Battlefield mm -hmm. YouTube versus yeah. Toon Link? Yeah. I actually haven't seen JVM on YouTube before. I'm kind of excited. I don't know what the hell's going on with him. <laughs> he is teleporting and then throwing moves afterwards. <laughs> like that. All day. Ugh. Stop. So much Persona music. <laughs> yeah, Cam loves his Persona. I know. Reset. Alright, go throw more stuff at him. I think the thing that's so... This has to be a very strange matchup, right? Young I... Link has his, his projectile game in the neutral. Yeah. And then Mewtwo has kind of his godlike neutral game. Yeah, I guess so. And he can reflect those back, can he? Uh, yeah, I don't know if they changed his side B so he gets ownership of projectiles now. It used to be he could reflect projectiles back, yeah. but he wouldn't get ownership, so they still wouldn't uh, hit. Oh, okay, so it's just like... Whatever. Yeah, they would whiff through you. I would hope the MBR changed that, but... We'll I see. actually don't know. Yeah, that was dumb. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before, the teleport into uh, F-Snap. Oh, he's going for some... There we go. Tail is gargantuous. Yeah, Stealth, I'm a big Link fan too. He's, he's the hero of time. Link's not bad in this game. No, definitely not. He's oh, the oh, fire oh, spike! Damn! Dog! Why'd you leave Vincent, you jerk? Woo. Oh my goodness, these combos Woo. out of the it dare. Stop. Wow. My goodness. Alright. Oh wow! Okay. Oh, the Mewtwo spike. Famed for its janky timing. Oh god! Game Genie, are, you, are you also referring to Soul Calibur 2? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the only non-Smash fighting game I can think of that links in. Yeah. See, that's what I said earlier. That's always, like, the fun option, but it's never the good option. Mad respect to Echo for going for it, though. That just sucks, man. <laughs>
Yeah, Cam, someone mentioned earlier it would be super cool if this were a touch screen. Yes. But if we had a touch screen monitor in the future. No work on that. My laptop has a touch screen. That's about it. My phone has a touch screen. We just watch <laughs> on my phone. All right, we're still Echo goes here. Music's, music's bumping. Yeah, what, what did you say that the menu music's from, Cam? Yeah. NBA Live. <laughs> awesome. All right, there's a slug fest going on. Mewtwo is so angry. Yeah, that guy was doing work right now. Oh uh, yeah, that bomb didn't do anything unless it was too far. I, I think know. it was. I think it was too far. Ooh! Gotta watch those uh, those dares from Young Lang. Get the bubble, whoever. Okay, good job. Meet bonus points. That means uh, JBM's gonna win because he got the bonus. Whoever gets the most is the win. Is there is there a Project M at the tournament tomorrow? Yes. What time? Uh, I'm doing teams both at the same time. Yeah. And then singles both at the same time. So if you're gonna, I'm gonna try to start it at 1:30. All right. And then this place opens up at noon. And then singles will start after it. Bonus points. I think the latest, I think I put it starts at 4, the singles. Ah, so. I ask because Saturday nights on this stage, we get free to do a oh, show yeah, that's by right. the great KK Slider. Oh yeah, that'll definitely be on. <laughs> oh, that was pretty poopy. Those bomb dare combos. <laughs> oh, he tried to go in. Get yeah. the balloon. Get the balloon! So you win this game. Get your buffs. Get, get the bonus points. <laughs> and speaking of buffs, how excited for Smash Run are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Smash Run? Yeah. Smash 4 or whatever? Yeah. It uh, looks kind of fun, but I don't know, man. So I, I was a big fan of, of City Trial and Kirby Air Ride. Oh, I hear you. So this is going to be like the Smash equivalent of yeah. City Trial. I think it'll be really fun. That's for sure. <laughs> Dude, don't go for edge cards. Go for balloon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All day. 20xx meta. No, but Echo is doing work right now. He's doing really well, and people are getting hyped. So why isn't losers being streamed like in melee? Uh, I actually don't know if we've had any losers. Uh, yeah, there've been some like final games. Yeah. Oh, Holly video was so it. nice, man. Oh, hey, Sailor. Who's a Taylor? Taylor Tot Ha. Huh? Yo, we shall go to Thirsty. That place got some fun ass boba tea. <laughs> it is so good. Your game genie's hype. He knows. He is. I guess I never played that game, so... Oh, that was Oh, good. that was a nice edge guard. Yeah, that was really good. Damn. Tied up. Let's see what happens here. Shooting shit at him all day, and just sit back and throw stuff. He's just a Pokemon. Yeah, I am really curious as to how Young Link's zoning works out with with Mewtwo King's teleport. Yeah, Mewtwo King. I would think Mewtwo would just get by everything real quick. And I said yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stomp. Oh, he got oh. robbed again. This tether bullshit sucks. Are those winners finals? God damn it. I have to watch another match. Man. <laughs> I don't want to watch more Smash and come here for this.
Gotta get ready for work. Later, bro. Who works? Who has jobs? Yeah, jobs for suckers. Like, I have to work tomorrow, too. Look. Be here at noon ish. So, you guys heading back up to Lincoln after this, then? Yeah, I think so. Cool. Uh, I'm not sure why we're doing that, but. Because <laughs> <laughs> you have coming, to come back we're tomorrow. We're coming back tomorrow. I mean, like. But hey, I'll get to sleep in my own bed. That'll be nice. Yeah, that was always nice. Plus, the tournament doesn't even start till later, so I mean, like, y'all be eyed. Oh, they're nice. Boomerang. Yeah, one thing you gotta love about the boomerang is it sometimes it just saves your ass. Absolutely. And it's something that a lot of players don't take into account when they're fighting Link. Yeah. Is that there's a boomerang out. They're like, oh, it's gone. Grab. I'm gonna go hit him, and then it hits you in the head and you die. Ooh. Well, he got lucky there. That tail just uh, hit away that boomerang, no problem. Yeah. The mini game should be on. That would be so much fun. It would be. Ooh, good grab. Good tag. Chods are how you get 480 G screen. Cam, what about hashtag free camp end up? There we go. Ooh, snag. Ooh. Toss that bomb away. Oh my, none of that. That was really good. Oh no, something's gross. Oh. Here's the heavens. Something like kind of very disappointing to me about Mewtwo is that he's like he's like one of the most powerful characters in the Pokemon universe, right? Yeah. In Smash, every one of his moves is tailless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough like psychic shenanigans. I mean he's got I guess a few psychic moves, but most of them aren't very good. Exactly. <laughs> he hits you with his tiny elbow. He hits you with his, you know, wiener tail. <laughs> and then suddenly thunder shocks you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what's that move supposed to be? I have no idea, to be honest. <laughs> it doesn't seem very psychic like. Ooh. Oh wow, I'll just poke his butt real quick. can do that. Teleport anywhere. The ball's deep all day. Hard. When, you, when you have an opponent at high percent like that, it's hard not to get overzealous. Yeah, absolutely. Because you just want the round to be done, right? Yeah, you just want to kill him. I don't want to. It's like the longer chance. the round goes on, the more likely he'll be to catch up. Exactly. But you just got to keep it cool. Taylor's running on two and a half hours of sleep. Why are you awake right now? Get some sleep, girl. There are so many, like, cables. Yeah, I know, right? Cable City. Who knew? Who knew? Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Echo, would you like to commentate? <laughs> I got it. Good, good old Taylor repping rep the stream. Giving us them viewers. <laughs> Pushing us up the, uh, the Twitch queue. 
Alright. That was a fun set. Well, I don't yeah, feel I mean, about it. Well, the, I don't, honestly, I don't really feel that good. I mean, I'm, I, I thought it was a really good game, a uh, really good set, but, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he killed himself at the end of that second game, yeah. so, I mean, honestly, I I don't feel like we should have even had a third game, so I, I don't ever like to yeah, that's to win like that. I mean, I don't think he's probably very happy. But, I mean, I think if, if this was for money, I would honestly let him go because he deserves to go. But, I mean, it's a free tournament. I think, uh, you know, we're just going to play it. So. At the same time, I mean, not killing yourself is a part of the game, right? Um, well, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> obviously. But, uh, no, I mean, I just... Uh, oh, it was a really good game. I mean, JBM should be But I get what you're saying. It's always, it's always tough to have a win like that. Yeah, no, it, it is what it is. I mean, I, like I said, if this was for uh, for money here, I think uh, we'd probably see, see it a little different. But yeah, it's kind of like when we played in the finals of Melee, you know, just playing band stages. We're, we're all doing friendlies here. Like, that's yeah. what we're doing. No, I mean, this is, this is a good warm-up for uh, people that are playing in the tournament tomorrow. Well, so, yeah. I mean, it's, it's great. So even though it's free, I mean, it's still a really good experience. Everybody wants to win here. I know, like... Cam does his uh, his power rankings and stuff, yeah. so everybody's definitely in a competitive spirit. You're getting really good experience by doing this. And, and even for people who like aren't intending to do tournaments, we get a lot of newer players at Chateau who are just kind of trying to learn. And it's a good like low stress environment for that. Mm. Also, Taylor, that's awesome. We should hang out when you come over. We're up to Lincoln. But. Um, yeah, no, this is this got a really really good game right here. I was watching Tyler's Kirby earlier when he uh, beat Uli, oh, and really? uh, he's he's pretty good with Kirby. Yeah, Kirby is. I love watching Kirby in this game because it's just such an improvement. He's got tools in this game. Well, <laughs> I like that. He says <laughs> the guy in the purple shirt looks like Doctor Peepee. Yeah, from a distance. You actually, a little bit. you actually do look like Doctor Peepee, Tyler. That's Kumbi. Or Kumbi? Is it Kumbi or Kumbi? Oh. I don't know. I've heard Kumbi. Oh. oh, wow. The choke slam. The, Taking uh, him to the shadow realm. Undertaker, you know? <laughs> I mean, this is... Ganondorf will do that. He will banish you to the shadow realm. Kirby's dash attack in this game is just... It's a tough move to play around. Oh yeah. I uh, I find Kirby to be really interesting. I don't I don't know if he's really good or not so great. You know, because he, like he does such cool things with his dash attack now and stuff. Yeah. But I still feel like he's lacking some KO power and everything. Yeah, I agree. So I'm, I'm just kind of mixed. You know. He's definitely on his way there. You know, being a true Star Warrior. The Star Getting Warrior. Getting that training from Meta Knight. Oh, I hate Meta Knight. In this game as well? Yeah, in PM. Oh my god, he's, he's good. Wow. Look at that dash attack. Wow. Yeah. Brian running into the same problem a lot of people do in this matchup is figuring out what to do about that dash attack. Yeah, like what would Ganon do about that? I mean, I guess you could try to short hop a down air or something, you know, try to catch him. I'm sure yeah. you could out-prioritize it, but otherwise I don't think you're really going to be able to shield grab that with Ganon. So. Yeah. And it goes right through the shield, right? Do you right? think that, uh, what do you, what, do you, what do you think would happen if Ganon did his over B into Kirby's dash attack? Do you think he'd oh. choke him? Do you think he'd, he'd slam him down? Because if you can do that, then that would be know. a good trade. But I do think the, the Batmobile, the, the down B, might have priority over it. If you if you could find out, oh, oh. oh my god, he's going for it. <laughs> hey, that's fair trade. Kirby that's fair trade, just man. even it out, last thought. Sudden death. Yeah, that sometimes that's the smart, like strategic. But move. um, I would really be interested in seeing if anyone's tried that, uh, doing an over B into Kirby's dash attack. Then if you can read the dash attack, oh, is he gonna try? It? Oh, he's oh, he wow, gamed him. Brilliant. That was really well played. That's a little dirty. Purposely sat there, and so he'd <laughs> spit him out like yeah. that, and then knowing he'd go, wow, that was. That's that was some old play. school Kirby tricks. Very good play. No, I so, think. Uh, I think the trick for Ganondorf is probably just those retreating forward airs. Actually, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. That would be a that. good way to, to space out that dash. You kind of need to abuse your range since Kirby's missing Definitely it. Definitely, that disjointed hitbox. The Dr. Peepee -pee over there. I never really put it together. But, I mean, I guess... Yeah. 
A little bit. He does, <laughs> he does look like that. What is the uh, announcer on the stage? What is that? Oh, Cam has a, a custom announcer pack on here. I don't remember who he says it is. I think it sounds like the announcers from the old Wave Race games. Oh, yeah, it kind of does. Oh, Game Genie says uh, Flame Choke has uh, a few super armor frames. Yeah, that might make a bit of a difference. Yeah, I mean, I think that if um, if that beats Kirby's dash attack, that would be a, a big play for Ganon. If you can ever read that dash attack, and you know, like, say you already did one, you know he's going for that second one, just choke slam. Yeah. And really, I think that's the biggest thing, is just getting that read right. <laughs> I like that Kirby walk when he's not dashing or anything. He's just <laughs> strutting around. He looks so happy. I just think... a happy character. Keith Climber showing his comfort with Fox. Really just not afraid to get in there. Oh, that was some strange trajectory there. Oh, wow. So does... Does, does Brian like to play... Fox or Ganon more? I, I see he always starts with Ganon and then switches to yeah. Fox. So does he like Ganon more than Fox? So oh, wow. In but. Melee, he plays Fox. Uh, so mm -hmm. that's the character that he's you know familiar with, can play pretty well. He's picked up Ganon more recently uh, as his PM character. Just kind oh of my god. Ooh. He's really yeah. He's really going for that. Taking advantage of uh, Brian's aggressiveness there. But yeah, he likes Ganon in this game and it kind of know, wants to make that his main, but exactly. I, don't, I well, just don't think he's there yet. Well, I was talking to him after I played him in the bracket, and we were talking about how Ganon, what would he do against Toon Link? Because it's it's really easy, especially since we played on FD, to just camp him out, kind of, you know, right. keep throwing bombs at him and stuff, and he's easy to edge guard. so I, I feel like he has some tough matchups. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Yeah, that I actually really like, side. I haven't played uh, Toon Link in this game, but the Young Link-Ganon matchup in Melee. I'm a big fan of. Yeah, no, I uh, I like Toon Link in this game. I just need to work on the recovery a little bit. Yeah, in, 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 in fairness, <laughs> it's a tough recovery. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, it's good, but it's okay. bad. It's both. How many people we got? 13 people? All right, later stream. Later, Echo. See you. Well, that's what I was kind of talking about. I was like, well, I don't know if you have to like just mash because usually in melee, especially if you're at low percent, you just kind of like you know wiggle the stick and you'll break right out. But like in this, I don't, I don't know if they just added a set time that you can't get out or something. Or I'm not sure. I, I mean, I was rolling both sticks, mashing everything, couldn't get out. And of you it couldn't at all, get out. I have no idea. I really don't know. But it's he killed you with that like every <laughs> every stock the whole, the the last game. I think you got five, three on the last game, five total with it. But like, that, I mean, that's, that's part of the game. I need to adjust to that, and I didn't, so... You just need to figure out why it's happening, yeah. how exactly it, it works. This is going to be interesting. Pretty good with Kirby, though. Yeah, Tyler, no, Tyler, yeah, Tyler, uh, Kirby's good. Oh, wow. That grab. Holy cow. I saw this Ike beating uh, DDD. Yeah, no, his Ike's no. legit. Wait, is this... Did he win that game? The one against DDD, or did it... Uh, I think no, he got sent to losers Oh, yeah, yeah, so... Uh, I think Google won that. I don't remember, to be honest. Yeah, Ike's interesting. It's, it seems like it's a lot of Brian nice nipple. God, Taylor, every single time. I mean, apparently you have nice nipples, man. It's this girl who there was a picture I took with like two years ago, and I was nipping out hard, and mm. so she just comments every single hey, time. Dude, there's no shame in that. I guess not. I mean, if you got nice nips, <laughs> you got nice nips. I mean, there's none to be ashamed of. Anyway, uh, Ike's really... They're doing a good job against Kirby here. Yeah. I don't, oh, 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 getting fancy. I'm not sure if either of them is familiar with this matchup at all. I really like that. That wall jump into the over B, that's really cool. Yeah, Ike's got uh, the certain stages where he can do that. His like being able to is, over B into the wall jump over B, like that is, yeah, mm -hmm. that is really sweet. And he, he can keep doing it uh, until he finally wants to use his up B. It's kind of like mm. stalling with Peach's side B. Oh, wow, the hammer. You don't see that move in Very melee. Nice. Actually, you don't see Kirby in melee. Wow, well, that's good. <laughs> that is true. You don't see Ike in melee either. <laughs> no, not very much. No, no. Bottom tier. Yeah, Kirby's getting those jab resets. Those are really effective. You know, um, 
Oh, wow. Uh, you know what? What's the thing I could kill at on this stage? I mean, I'm sure he's going he's gonna to get some really low percent kills here. Yeah. That so, fair off stage. And this is just random, so I mean, I'm just I'm surprised that Kirby didn't want to uh, strike this. Oh, they didn't They didn't strike. Oh, they didn't? They just random? Oh, oh, I, oh I don't know. I, I oh, thought I'm, you were saying they random. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I like to just random the first game. Yeah, why just, not? I mean, I don't have a special preference. Not right now, anyway. I prefer PS2 to pretty much every map, no matter what character I'm playing. Because, like, in Melee, I really don't like Battlefield. Oh, but really? in this game, the Battlefield's okay. The only thing, I just don't like Battlefield because the edge. Um, yeah. There's times where it, like, glitches out, and it won't let you catch the ledge. No, that, and, that and is you the just one. And you just never know when it's going to happen, so I like to just avoid it. Yeah, that's understandable. That dash attack of Kirby is... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good. Hey, it's got like no no lag time after oh, it. Oh, that was a tilt too. You got either spit. Uh, I think that looked like a tilt. I mean, it took him out, but gosh, for that damage, it must have been a snap. Oh, double clank. Oh no, oh, there it is. There yeah. it is. Dang. Just, and you know, I guess that is a good thing about Yoshi's story for that because you didn't think you were gonna get out of battlefield. You definitely won't get out. Oh yeah. On Yoshi's story, Such he's just gonna floor. drop right down. So. And yeah, I had. I think I had zero percent right there. If not yeah, zero, something did. really low. Yeah, he had just come back, so yeah. Nice that's, lift seven. That's crazy. And that's, that's what, I kind of like it, though. I mean, it's kind of like, hey, if Kirby's got that lead, it's just, like, really scary, yeah. you know? And you, Kirby isn't really usually a scary character, so it's, it's kind of cool that he, he actually threatens you like that. And it's definitely a risk-reward. Ike's got a better ledge game with the exception of Kirby's, uh, Kirby's oh. little sucky-up move. I thought that was going to kill what is that move even called of Kirby's? I just call it the suck you up move. I inhale? I guess. Maybe, I don't know. Man, that <laughs> that's gotta be it. I don't know. Look <laughs> up the uh, Kirby Dreamland instruction book. Oh, right. there it was again. That wall. Oh, man, he got beaten after he's on stage, but. What is the Kirby game on Super Nintendo that has like the nine games in one? Dreamland? Or Dream? Superstar? Kirby Superstar? Is yeah, it's something like that. Super. That's a real good game. I never, I never got into the Kirby genre. I've seen some people play it. You know, Kirby has some of the weirdest games, but some of the most fun games. That's like, the thing. Uh, I don't know what the theme of those like, games is. Like the epic yarn and the uh, what was the painting one? Like when you were the, on the paintbrush or whatever, or your your stylus was the paintbrush. Like he's just got just random games like that, but they're all really fun oh, and they're yeah. all really well done. So. Anyway, more on topic. This match is going pretty good. You know, I uh, I really liked. It what uh, Tyler did when he took the stock. He went out there, he threw an up air, and then he changed oh it into a back goodness. air. Wow, what, uh, oh, there you go. There okay, you go. yeah, that's that, good I idea. was going to say. Hopefully he can get out of that somehow. That's No one ever wants to smash the guy off stage, though. No. But, I mean, well, there's... it's very scary because, yeah, like what happens if uh, he would have went for that B and then all of a sudden Kirby inhales him and walks off or mm -hmm. something, you know, so it's like yeah. you definitely don't want to have to. You don't want to be forced to throw that without a sweet spot. Nice. Oh man. Very nice. And this is uh this is losers now, so this is Millhouse's tournament. Canvas curse, that's good that's it right there. Grime Genie. He's Googling all my, my stuff. No, I uh, don't you think though, like I like playing Toon Link on the stage because the background, doesn't that look like Ganon? Like that looks like Toon Link just drew Ganon. Like big <laughs> Ganon though, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Ganon just watching over you. Yeah, he's just watching. He's like, hey. No, it's like the final boss door, you know? That's Ganon's, oh, Ganon's yeah, yeah. door. And this is like the 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 sub-boss, you know? Before you can fight Ganon, <laughs> you have to take out his his minion. So, I don't know. No, I like that. Good mentality. Get yeah. through it. It makes sense if you think about it. I swear. <laughs> All right. Kirby's getting a lot of trades here. Milhouse is going to have to avoid that. Every trade is good for Kirby. Oh, wow. Point. Using that armor from the down B. Really good. Yeah, you can get out of that down B so fast. It's super agile out of it. Yeah. Oh, that spacing. That's rough. Dang, that hammer. I didn't think the hammer could KO it, without. It's been that doing something. a lot of work this game. Ike side B is such a risk reward move. If you get it perfect, it's like a one hit KO, but. Man, you, you let go a little early. Oh, no, no. is that it? Oh my gosh, oh, no, he, got he got out. out of that really got fast. Out. Was I doing something oh, wrong? I didn't see if he was. His controller is just barely off screen. I didn't get to see if he's kind of like just mashing it really, really hard. I mean, I was mashing to the best I could. Like maybe, maybe There's it's not about the kill. sticks. Like maybe you actually have to hit jump, and like A and B. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I have to look that up. Hey, Grime Genie, you would know. Grime Genie should know. He, he knows everything about piano. 
Crime Genie, how do you get out of Kirby's inhale? Alright, Kirby's playing a... Oh! That was uh, very impressive. Anticlimax, so JBM's up. I'll be satisfied versus JBM. No, never mind. I lied. It is actually Tizer yeah. versus JBM. This is nice. Gonna be a pretty this is winners finals. Pretty intense I match. Um, no, this is losers. They're actually both in losers bracket. JBM and Tizer are both in losers. Yeah. I have no idea who's in there, but good for those people. Um, I believe Ghoul beat Tizer. Okay, cool. And good. then cool, uh, cool. I played JBM in winners semifinal. Nice. Yeah. Uh, is he and, still playing uh, his Mewtwo? Yeah, uh, his Mewtwo's. Pretty nasty. Yeah. Yeah, I know it won last time. Beat David's Falco. Mm hmm Yeah, he uh he really knows. Oh god, I didn't read that. that. The nips? It's not just that picture, you just have nice nipples. Um So Grime Genie says that you're supposed to just mash buttons. Or actually he doesn't even say buttons, he just says mash. Like what am I supposed to eat mashed oh. potatoes? I don't know. Like <laughs> I mean you you match the joystick, you match the buttons, what? Huh. Like I don't know. Anyway, this is going to be a pretty big deal here. This is a good match. Is this yeah. uh, semifinals? Where is this in the bracket? Do you guys know? Uh, this is... Yeah, this is semis. Oh, no, really? this is losers' quarters. Oh, wow, really? Holy cow. So Ghoul's still in, huh? No, that can't be right, because JBM would have been in. Yeah, no, this is definitely losers' quarters. Oh, wow. Okay. Got a lot of good Smash to be playing. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I didn't expect either of them to be out this early. Oh man, I just going Fox. Yeah, I um, I think Tizer really just likes to play Fox in this. I don't know if it's because he hasn't played a lot of PM or if that's just the character he likes. But I haven't seen him pull out his DDD from Brawl or his Samus from Melee. I think he just kind of sticks with Fox. But he's he's good with Fox. Yeah, I think Fox in this game, it's so much harder to miss to miss those technical things. Yeah. Also, like we were saying earlier, you can just uh. You can up smash out of a dash without jump canceling or anything, which for Fox that's that can save a frame. Yeah, no, that's uh... oh, good laser game. That's one thing my Fox is terrible at. I don't shoot lasers, but for those who do, that's that's a lot of damage. Yeah. Wow, look at that. See, I was like watching JBM play because I'm watching him do those uh, shadow balls. Oh, that's a terrible SD. That's too bad. Now, do you know what the uh, TVR is? I notice JBM has uh, that every time. The Velvet Room. It's the uh, Velvet Room, okay. Cam's uh, sponsored team. Oh, I thought that was a uh, Crunch Bang. It was, uh, but then I think it got changed. Um, I got think changed. Noah and JBM are playing for it. Um, Wow, this is just really unfortunate that this is yeah, going on for JVM. I can't imagine he's too happy about that. I'm not sure if he's maybe not used to the Fox matchup in him. Um, you don't really see well, that many people play Fox. I think he's There's just so kind of off a little bit because he had SD at the beginning and then he had that other SD. So I think he's just kind of yeah, just off his off his groove, you know. Well, we'll see what he counterpicks. Oh, wow. Very nice, though. That oh, was smooth. Nasty. Oh, he knows what he's doing. Though. I mean, like I'm watching. It, he's just, he's making all the right reads. He's hit, making the plays. But I think just the two SDs earlier are really gonna. Yeah, it's hard to come back from yeah, that, especially I'd... against someone like Kaiser, who's not gonna forgive you for it. Right. Yeah. And especially on a character like Fox. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Backwards. He's kind of back in it. I don't know if Mewtwo has any gimps on Fox, but... Well, I think Fox's up smash will kill Mewtwo on this at Asheville right now, so um, I think he's just going to be looking for that one up smash. Yeah, if JBM knows that, done. though. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's too bad for Yeah, JBM. that weight didn't work out. That, yeah. That up air. Yeah, see, if, if JBM didn't have those two SDs, I think they could have been a lot different, so... That's, Ended up being a really close game, though. It's a good comeback. Mm -hmm. Where do you think he'll go? Oh man, the counter pick logic in PM is just so, so much more developed. I don't know if he'll go to Smashville here because, you know, his Fox can kill uh, upwards really easy. So. Yeah, no, I think he'll try to avoid that. He, honestly, Dreamland might be a good approach. The only downside is Fox has so much room to run around. Yeah, well, I don't know. 
that's going to be very interesting. See, I wonder what ties are banned. Ties are banned, WarioWare, so he can't go there anyway. I'm thinking maybe like PS2. PS2 is such a good stage. Or Although that's a pretty low ceiling. He's going to want to go somewhere where he can edge guard Fox. I'm like, ooh, FD against Fox? Oh, let's see what he's got. He, I he think uh, he has some chain grabs on Fox. Though. I'll trust his uh, trust his decision. Oh, nice. that Nair was impressive. I think I think JVM's goal with picking FD is for straight up combos. Yeah. And he doesn't want any platforms getting in the way. I think he wants to do some juggles. No, and Mewtwo can definitely do that, especially against these fastballers. That was a good shorten. Kaiser's just using that speed. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Is that his spot dodge? dodge? I think that was the spot dodge. Where he just disappears. Oh, very, ah, very nice. Beautiful. Perfect timing. All right, let's see if he can do a low damage. Ooh. Oh, man. I missed that old V. I think maybe he was going for a forward air or something. Oh, wow. ah, yeah, that's Fox. Yeah, still got it. knows how to edge guard that. Which is impressive, because it's hard to figure out exactly how to edge guard me too. Yeah. Well, I think he, he only had one option there. He was just far enough away that, yeah. Wow, really hard read on that up smash. One of the tech in place. Ooh. Oh, that's too bad. Hey, it's just an SD and kind of do it. I guess so. But hey, get him out now. Don't do him at the tournament tomorrow. <laughs> you gotta do it now. Yeah. I assume you're going to that tomorrow? No, unfortunately I won't be. Oh, really? No. So I was happy that we actually got to do something today. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow. Hopefully some doubles in, too. It's been a long, long time. And I don't know when the next Smash tournament's going to be, because I know that every Friday we do this, but um, as far as, like, bigger... All I know about is roll here. Yeah. And, and I think... We'll have to get something going, because that's, like, two months away. Yeah, There's something in Michigan, something for Big House 4. Oh, yeah. I, I, think wasn't, I think that's a little ways away, too, though, isn't it? I think it's also in October, yeah. I wasn't necessarily planning on going to that. I just, uh, Mutank was talking about it a little earlier. Mm. I'm sure there will be something organized. When school starts back up, we'll, we'll, have, uh, we'll have our dorm Kaufman that's got a perfect setup. Yeah, for hosting tournaments. No, I mean, and if Underground here can do like a monthly tournament or something, that'd be really cool too. Yeah, for sure. Definitely a good time to be playing Smash. I mean, I think uh, a lot yeah. of players and every, a lot of good people. I mean, you know, everybody's getting getting uh, better and better every time we play every week. So. Yeah, I'd really like to see the Nebraska scene start to improve. Maybe make me two king think we're not that bad. <laughs> My goal is to take a stock on him when he comes. I plan on money matching him. Mm. Feed, feed him. Is what you're saying? Feed his ball. Yeah. No, oh, absolutely. I'm. Well, it's a, it's a good thing to. Uh, you wanna, you wanna play those advanced players, you know? Because I mean, that's where you're gonna learn a lot of things. You're gonna see a lot of the th techniques that they're gonna do to you. Mm -hmm. And I mean, uh, even though you can watch their videos and see all that stuff, it definitely makes a difference to actually play those people. Oh yeah. Oh, that was a good shadow. Or ball. like if you uh, if you have some some good mind games that you want to try out, you know, if you can if you can do some tricksies to a top player like that, you know, then you must you must have some good tricks now. Absolutely, <laughs> like, so, absolutely. So it kind of like puts your puts your game to the test. Yeah, I, uh, I went to MLG with uh, Jordan Degner and VE. Oh yeah. And I got to uh, do some friendlies against Axe and uh, Plop and. I always goodness. wanted to go to MLG. It or Evo. I wanted to go to Evo real bad, too. But yeah. I'm planning on trying to go next year, but it's going to be interesting to see what they do next year. If they just do Smash 4. Oh. I sure hope not. Pretty good game. So JVM obviously knew what he was doing going to FD. Yeah. Um, like I said, I mean, good place to do combos. Uh, play around with Shadow Ball. So I think it was a good choice. Um, if I were Tizer, I'd be going PS2. Really? How's the oh. ceiling there? It's low. Really low? I, uh, I mean, I, I played you as Fox, and I up smash killed you at like oh, that's 95 true. Yeah, or that. something, and Mewtwo is not a heavy character. I mean, so. it's, a, it's a good neutral stage. I mean, a lot of characters can make uh, a lot of plays on those platforms. They're at good height, you know? Have you read this ridiculous comment oh, by B-Powder? Wow. Uh, <laughs> oh my god.
That's a, that's a friend I work with. That's a bold thing to say. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting is one word. I mean, it uh, has a lot to do with Smash. <laughs> has a lot to do with this game right now. Absolutely. <laughs> Man, okay, so we went PS2. I'm really surprised JBM didn't You're ban right. this. Good call. Um, I don't remember what he banned, but... Well, I think he's... I don't think he's really... Oh, and right as I say this, it's going to seem stupid because of that, but I don't think he's scared of it as much because I think he wants to go for those up throw kills. Um, and he probably likes the more flat stage, like he could combo on Final Destination. Yeah. So I think that's why he probably left it open, but yeah, that up air with Fox is, is going to be really hard to to deal with. I feel like once once you get up to higher percents against Mewtwo, he can't really do as much to you. I mean, obviously, no. nobody can juggle as well at high percent, but it just seems like he's limited. His jump's going to be too slow. Oh, no. He, Many SDs. I think he uses up B at that point. Yeah, That's really too bad. Whatever he wants, like, fair out of up B is pretty effective. There we go, up throw. Everything out of up B. Oh, but Even wow. on this stage, really. Wow. Okay. I mean, I'm sure it was great I, DI by Tizer. Well, yeah, it looked like some really good DI. You could tell he even went to the side a little bit, but uh, that's just really surprising. I mean, if it's not going to kill with up throw here, then you probably should ban the stage against mm -hmm. Fox. Wow, nice laser game by Tizer. And Tizer's just running around the Mewtwo. Oh, jeez. Ah, wow, looked like an Edgar opportunity there. Wow. That oh. read. That's going to make it very difficult for yeah. BBM to come back. And this is uh, this is the best out of three. It's loser size. No. No, this quarters. is uh, right. this is two out of three. If Tizer wins this, he's sent to JBM home. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is not the way he's going to want to play before the tournament tomorrow. So, no. and after JBM won last Smash Chateau, this is unexpected. Uh, yeah, that's too bad. That's no it. Contest. That's really too bad. Yeah. But uh, you know, overall, good games. No, definitely. I mean, it, the first game was really, really unfortunate for the, JBM to be the killing himself, and rough. even on the last game, that second game, uh, teleporting into the stage. But otherwise, the the action was was really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, they, they were both doing the, good. Stuff. Took the second game. I mean, it was it was, it was still a great set. It was mm -hmm. the yeah the two SEs of the first game, and then that. I I think that stage wasn't wasn't a JBM's advantage. Yeah. Well. Um, I don't, you know, I, I don't know. I still have mixed feelings about PS2. I, I think it's the most neutral stage. Like, I think, I think it could have been, like, Smashville or something, you know, maybe it would have been better. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I really, I really don't know the difference, man. Dude. to see how how his fox does against satisfy those Kirby here. I ended up being pretty clueless on it. Wow. Oh, good double shine. That's smooth. It's going to be uh, an interesting game right here because um, like obviously we just saw a Tizer in the last game. He seemed like he was, he was on his tech skill. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Kirby's been doing really good at this tournament. Tyler. Yeah, I think I think Tyler's going to need, need to be really careful around Kirby. But uh, right now it looks like he's yeah, going for he's that going set for it. I don't, oh, wow. Yeah, I don't agree with that play. Um, I think he was just worried that Fox was going to come out and try to edge guard him, but that put him in a really bad position. And even if he would have got the Kirby side, he would have been a stock behind. Mm -hmm. you know, so. And Tizer's not going to drop something like that. Yeah, you so. mess up around him, he's going to get the punish. Nice oh, that's guard. a good down tilt. Oh, don't that do that, though. Necessary, yeah, don't but... do that. If they tech that and come back and then kill you, <laughs> you know? No, I think I think Fox's recovery is a little bit shorter in M than it was in melee, Very nice. and I think a lot of the time people still treat it like the melee recovery and think it all think it has more range than it does. Oh wow, what a combo! Very nice job by Tyler. 
getting those up tilt stuff smash. Wow, Kirby seems like he's pretty light. Yeah, I was gonna say that almost killed him at pretty low down. Oh no. No. Good short. Wow. He's avoiding it really well. He knows what Tyler wants. Tizer wants him. Oh no. Yeah, it's interesting yeah. to see people's play style just change so much in high damage, especially Foxes. They just want want the up smasher up there. Yep. All running around him. That's an interesting shine grab. Oh. I was watching No! Tizer. That uh, was so close. Tizer was playing some friendlies earlier and he got a uh, shine wave dash into grab on the edge of the stage and got the down throw meteor spike. Mm, nice wait. That was good patience right there. He waited to see what Tizer was going to do. And he picked out the edge guard. Oh, man. Oh. Wow. wow. Kirby can't recover. That was impressive. I did yeah. not expect him to get back. And he uh, picked a good spot to be in. Good jab reset. Wow, that's evened up quickly. I think he really wants to get that Kirby set right now. Yeah. He, oh, that's yeah, he bad. went for it multiple times. Because if he gets there. it right now, that's a that's a very good exchange. Oh, for him, absolutely. I'm here. No. Oh, good down smash. Good down smash. I wonder if maybe it's a character thing, how hard it is to mash out. I know Fox well, has maybe. more hits done than, than most. Yeah, maybe it has to do with the character, like they're, if they're heavy or light, maybe oh, it wow, affects it. That has grabbed high. Uh -oh. oh, no. Wow. He can't do the Kirby side now. I mean, no. Nice, though. Is that going to be enough? Good bear. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that's a, that's a good trade. Pretty All right, close now game. He's, I think he's gonna go for it. Yeah, if he goes for it, he can. He can do, oh, have he to keep wants that it. In mind. I think Tyson knows that he wants it though. Yeah. No, he's, he's a smart. He's a smart player with all that Samus practice. Yeah. He, oh, oh no, he got it. Did he get it? Wait, no. But Fox. Kirby died first. Wow, he mashed out quick. Okay. Oh man, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What? JBM making me, making me sad. Oh, he's a salty. You're still in. Yeah. Well, I think he's, I mean, he's just been SD, and so it's like, yeah. you know, I know how that feels. I've been at tournaments where, I've, well, even in the first game I played him, you know, I just I went for a combo, I missed it, I killed myself. I mean, it happens. It happens yeah. to everybody. It's rough. Um, but it just. It, it really, really sucks. I mean, that's even though there's no money on the lot today, it's like it just really sucks. Like it just, I don't know really how to explain it. Like it, I don't want to say like just uh, like crushes your spirit, you know? Like I mean, it just makes you feel like you're better than that. Why are you killing yourself? You yeah. Know? Don't you're losing because of your mistakes, and that's just nobody likes to feel that, you know? But you just gotta take it for what it is and improve on it. So. an interesting uh, song. I did not know. <laughs> this is not <laughs> typical. Typical Smash. This is, some good, this is good music for Fox yeah, running around real fast. <laughs> oh, those up tilts. That's nice. I don't know what this guy's saying. Smash two scoops, man. What? Times two more scoops. Some. I, I don't, I don't some even know slang that right here. Oh, oh, wow. That, that's good. No, shot. Kirby's getting back. Wow, he just went for the uh, the shine dare. Man, this is not looking good for Tyler though. No. What do we have left here? Is this uh, the is it winners or losers finals after this, or is this this isn't losers uh, finals? Oh, this is losers semi finals. Loser it semis. does tell me yeah. on the screen. I guess I should look. So who else is in? Do you know? Um, you and Ghoul. Oh, Ghoul still and in. Oh. That's the four. Ghoul still in. That could be interesting because Ghoul is actually the one that sent Tizer to losers. If, oh, uh, if Tizer happens to get through this, then he's going to have to match up with him again. And I don't know if he's played Tyler. Are today. you planning on beating Ghoul then? Oh, well, I don't know. Because he I, might. I haven't really played a lot of PM with Ghoul, but I was watching his DD or DDD earlier when he was playing as Tizer, and it was pretty scary stuff. So, yeah. Uh, if I have to play Ghoul, definitely a fun game, but uh, it's going to be rough. It's going to be a tough match. That was a good, good trade for Tizer. When you're up, you're up four to two. It's worth it to get the shine spike. Yep. And he just wants to cement his his placing. Oh man, that dash dance that was so fast. 
I don't know. I think I... Man. This fox, though, it just reminds me so much of melee fox, you know? And that's, it, that's scary. You I know, think when that's I play young Link against fox, if it's a good fox, run you down, it's really hard. So I 